All right, I finally have a daily harvest update. So I talked last month about how their lentil crumble product was recalled. The FDA received 277 reports of illness and 96 reports of hospitalization after consumers ate this particular product. So after the recall, they started testing the product. Um, 277 reports of illness and 96 hospitalizations is very severe for a food product to be causing. So this was not a typical recall of a few cases of foodborne illness, and it wasn't just normal foodborne illness symptoms either. People were having organ damage, and I think somebody had to get their gallbladder removed. So this was very serious and very important that they get this figured out. Of course, people were concerned if other products were affected and they were saying that they weren't, but at the same time, they hadn't identified the culprit either. All right, so Daily Harvest recently came out with this statement saying that they have identified the terra flower as the cause of the issue. Terra flower, if you're not familiar, is just a high protein flower. It's being used uh, more and more in plant-based products. They said that they only use this ingredient in that product that was recalled as well. I just wanna to note too that around the same time these illnesses were happening with this Daily Harvest product, there were reports of similar illness from a revived superfoods product that also contained terra flower. So even though they said they identified the terra flower as the culprit, they still don't understand why or how that specific flower would be causing these illnesses. So there's still ongoing investigation into, was that the real culprit and if so, how? The FDA has not identified terra flower as the source of the problem because they only name ingredients or ingredient suppliers only when there is enough evidence linking that ingredient to illness or injury. Since they haven't identified what about the terra flower would be causing this, we still don't know for sure that it actually is. So they are still collecting data and conducting sample analysis on multiple ingredients in addition to the terra flower. So basically we can't say this ingredient or the suppliers supplying this ingredient are the reason for these adverse events. They also stated that sharing preliminary information on the investigation may mislead consumers into believing a specific ingredient was the cause of an illness or outbreak when in fact it was later ruled out of being linked to the adverse event. So at this point, it is not case closed. Um, there's still ongoing investigation and we don't know if the terra flower is actually the reason for these illnesses. I would personally remain a little hesitant to consume their products until this gets figured out. There's still not enough evidence to say that that was definitely the culprit. I'll keep you updated if I hear anything more.